What's good everybody, it's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm gonna to show you three various sampling techniques that I use in Logic Pro X to make my workflow faster, right after this. first uh, sampling technique that I want to discuss is uh, actually time stretching your samples without changing the pitch. A lot of the times people want to stretch their samples to a certain BPM, but what happens is the, uh, the pitch also gets changed with that. So Logic has a nice built-in tool that will allow me to change the tempo of the sample without changing the pitch. First thing you want to do is go up to Logic Pro X, key commands, and hit edit. You're going to type in the word stretch, like so. What's going to come up is these two. You're going to have time stretch regions by length locators. You also have time stretch region length to nearest bar. What we're going to uh, be interested in, though, is the time stretch region length to locators. So what I have it set to is uh, option command L. If that's not set in your uh, key command, you could actually set it to that. So I'm going to erase it. What you want to do is select that, hit learn by key label, and then uh, hit option command L on the keyboard like so, and that will set it to that. The sample comes from a pack that we have on uh, Frequency.com called World on Fire. Shout out to Say Quizzy, he's the one that uh, supplied us with that. Let's have a listen to the sample now. It's 152 BPM. Let's say I want to actually drop this to 140 BPM, right? Um, as you can see, it's not matching up uh, to the 16 bars that it did before. Uh, all I need to do now is just select the sample, hit Option, Command, and L on the keyboard, hit Process, and boom. Now it's going to be a slower sample, but in the same pitch. Have a listen. Okay, so now we uh, stretch the sample at a lower BPM uh, without affecting the pitch. The second technique I wanted to show you guys was how to chop samples easily. So you could use the uh, command tool here and go down to the scissor tool. Now if I hit command on the keyboard, it's gonna change it to a scissor tool. Now you could chop at every bar or wherever you want. You could also make your life easier by hitting command and then alt and a little plus symbol comes up um, next to the scissor tool as you can see right there, and we can make equal ch equal chops just like that. That definitely helps uh, speed up your workflow when you're chopping samples. You can rearrange the samples now, you know what I mean? I mean, endless options there. Okay, the third technique I wanna talk about is reversing samples. Now that we have all these all of these chops, maybe we want to uh, reverse some of them. I'm gonna go up here to my key commands again, hit edit, and I'm gonna type in the word reverse. Okay, so we want to look for this one here under main window tracks and various editors, reverse on and off. I have mine set to um, shift command R, and you could do the same thing if that's not what it's set to. Let's go ahead and learn by key label, shift command R. All right, let's go ahead and select all of these second ones one more time. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and uh, hit that shift command R, and it's going to reverse only those portions. As a bonus technique, what I wanted to show you is, uh, you know, you could always make uh, those new sample chops that you've made into unique samples. So if you right click and just hit bounce in place, you can now have that sample with the reverse portions as a brand new sample. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short tutorial on how to manipulate your samples and ease your workflow in Logic Pro X. If you have any other suggestions for new tutorials, feel free to use a comment section for that. I'm always open to make new tutorials. So I really appreciate the time. Thanks so much for watching. My name is CJ. I'm out for now. Peace.